we are at part two of the series now. We are going to create the overlook of the application now of the board game. And for that we are going to create two components. Uh, we want to have a lobby where you are able to create a room or create a game. And we want to have the game itself. Uh, for that we are just going over here and open an integrated terminal. Just call ng generate component and then we are calling it lobby. And as you can see there is one lobby folder now and we are gonna create a game component. So there are two folders now. We don't need the spec files, we don't need any tests currently. And for the start we when we start our application now with ng serve it is looking like that so we want to remove all this stuff here over there it's nothing special we just go over here and take a look in the app component HTML file and we just remove everything ex except this router outlet and save this and when you save this it will be a complete blank site now there's nothing in it and at the start we want to implement routing and when we route uh, at this side actually at localhost 4200 we want to go in our lobby and we are doing that uh, with routing we're gonna define one route now we just say that the path which is empty currently or which uh, which is empty should route us to the lobby component we save this and lobby works so this uh, was easy and after this we want to implement the button which is uh, calling create game also nothing special we are using a diff which is holding the button And this button has a label which is uh, create game. And we save this, we have our nice button. What I like, I want to center this one. We are using uh, Flexbox for that. Uh, it fits for me the best in, in CSS. We're calling this box. And uh, when we just. We're gonna add this now in our. Uh, CSS file, we say display fix, and I would like to align this item in the center and uh, horizontal as vertical, so we are just saying that like that. And we want to have a current height of 100, uh, I'll just show you why. Um, Currently, the diff container is only uh, the size of the button, so this is why we are, we don't have this uh, centered uh, or, uh, vertic uh, vertically. So let's go over there and also say that the height is 100%, and the button will be in the middle now. What do we want now? When we press on the create game button, we want to go over to the game. A component and over there there should be uh, the the cards or the words displayed and also what we need is we want to have um, a slash game slash and uh, some cryptical uh, unique uh, string um, this string or the URL will be sent uh, to your friend then and uh, automatically uh, the server will know which which room or which game you're in Okay, let's go to it and we are going to add a click list now for our create create game button click create game and in our comp uh, TypeScript file we are just doing oh, we are creating a create game 
method and this will route us to our new component, uh, the game component. Uh, for this we, we need our router, we have to, to inject it here and import it, yes, this dot router dot navigate and this won't won't work now because we don't have set up our routing for our game path and we save this. Now we are going over to our routes Im implementing the the route for our game actually we just copy this one here, I guess this is easier, and just call it game, and we refer for the game, game component, there it is, and we just save it. And when we now press on create game, we should go over to the game component, perfectly, that's what we like. Okay, uh, we want to have a um, unique uh, ID after this slash game, so that's why we are using uh, a different uh, uh, package, npm package for it. We are using UUID, actually this, is, uh, this generates uh, yeah, a unique uh, ID when you're calling UUID version 4, and we're gonna add this to our path. Uh, just copy this here, npm install UUID, and we're doing this here now. Okay, this won't work, I guess. npm I UUID. Already in, we call ng serve, and we are going to edit this now. UUID is so actually we are just creating a variable, uh, saving it in there UUID version 4 and going to take that. We need to import this with this state here and we are just console lock this out now for the start so that we can see the number this F12 for the developer console going back to our main site and as you can see there is the unique ID and now we want to add this to our routing so when we want to add another uh, yeah, parameter to our route we need to add uh, this by adding another parameter to the array. So this is pretty easy. Uh, we can remove this one and what we need to do is also that we need we need to add a parameter in the URL otherwise we cannot power route over to the uh, to the component with the ID. So when we go over to localhost 4200 now and press create game we are getting this nice ID for the game. Okay, what are we doing now? We got our lobby now, we are at our game component now, and we want to create our words. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more complex, but uh, it's, it is kind of okay, I guess. So, we are going to our HTML file, and we are going to add a div container, which is holding... Uh, which is holding all the cards, so I prefer prepare it already with a class. And what we want to do is we want to have a flex container in it, uh, which is holding all the words. So diff, and I'm also adding a, con uh, a class already on it because we will add some CSS after that. And each word will be one div container. We are not using any, any Angular material components for this, uh, otherwise uh, uh, we, are ne we need to do some styles and w it would be way more, mo uh, more work when we are using some Angular material components for that. That's why we are using a normal div container for our, uh, yeah, for our words or for our cards for this uh, example. And we are also, uh, we 
do need a class for that because we need to style it later on. And for the testing purposes, we just call it test here for one card and save this one. We are going to add all 25 cards. Okay, we have added now 25 diff containers for the worlds. And uh, now we are going to save this. And as you can see, they are all displayed uh, yeah, vertically. So we want to have five in a row and after that uh, it should wrap over to the next row. And we are doing this with a display flex too. Uh, we have our flex container here and in our CSS file we just call flex minus container. That's the class we are calling or where all the words are in. And we just say display flex and the flex direction should be a row. And the flex wrap should be uh, uh, should be wrap. So actually, uh, when when it's too big in the row, uh, it should ro uh, wrap over to the next row. And the line height should be around 100 pixel. Um, yeah, we save this now. It won't change much. Actually, it only uh, it's only in a in a complete row. And when we just make it smaller, it goes over to to the next row now we need to uh, change the yeah the diff containers of the words and that's pretty easy we have our word class to our diff containers and we just say that flags and our background color I will copy this one And border, which is solid to pixel, and we align our text in the center of it. And uh, I would like to have a margin of 10 pi pixels. We're saving this, and now it should be really, really nice. As you can see, oh, maybe I have one, yeah, one word too much delete it and now it looks how it should look like and when we just make it smaller it getting smaller 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 till uh, it needs to wrap over but actually uh, I guess uh, many devices can use it already what I kind of like is I would like to um, to center these cards more and we are doing this by adding some CSS to the game class Uh, we just say margin five percent, and this should be good. Okay, perfectly. After this, we want to add a, a mud button toggle group. Uh, we want to decide if we are operatives or if we are spy masters, and for that we need an, another diff class. And uh, there will be our roll in. I'm gonna copy this one now. So, actually, this is the mud, but mud button toggle group uh, we are saving this in our uh, in a variable called role and we have two toggle buttons and the one uh, the first one is operative and the other one is spy master and we need for that we need an we need a variable and we want to be operators at the start it should be operative right yeah it is and we save this now and we have our operative now and I also want to have it center so actually in the middle of it so we, we also need to add dot roll into it in our CSS class display flex align items center and justify content also center save this and we are able to switch over to the spy master and the operatives. Perfect. 
after this we want to be able to press next game so this is something we are gonna add now uh, on the bottom right side this is over here so we just say button or we're gonna copy paste it over here no we don't have one button mod minus minus raised minus button and we uh, want to have the name of it next game and at a specific click listener we want to do something and i want to have another class next game because we want to align it on the right side uh, currently it's on the left side i want to have it on the right side go to css we have a dot next game and we say float dot uh, float double point right uh, no it's on the right side perfectly yeah now we got a warning or error because there's no next game function implemented we are going to do that now next game and perfectly what we are missing is we don't have any start game button we are going to implement that too now uh, <coughs> we also need a button we can copy that now oops and going to edit up above this here and we also need another div for that and like that and we just say start game and we're calling a different function which is called start game and we don't want to have this one there we want to have a class which is called center and i guess we can call it this one center too because uh, it's not only in ro uh, roles we are using it for two different parts so let's call it like that and as you can see there is start game and we only want to see start game actually when the game is not uh, yeah when the words are not displayed so don't be surprised that they are more or less overlapping we will fix this later um, i guess we got everything now from for our front end now for the next episode we are going to implement socket io in our backend and we are also testing it already with the front end so we are able to see some messages which are getting sent over uh, through the back end and yeah if you have questions just leave me a comment below um, don't forget to subscribe and follow everything you can follow here <laughs> This part 2 is on GitHub, uh, if you want to have the link uh, it is in the description. See you to the next part, bye!